welcome back to another Daily Walk. Well, today I actually wanted to just talk about something that, uh, that I heard recently and I was like, eh, sorta of, but not really. And it kind of ties back into a topic I talked about recently, I think it was on one of the foundation studies, where I talked about oftentimes we put too much emphasis on the local church and not enough emphasis on the church universal. In other words, attending local church is not going to save you. It's something that you will have a desire to do as a Christian, but it's not something that will save you. Yes, we need a fellowship of believers. Yes, we need to learn and study. But ultimately, it's up to us to learn and study on our own. But the statement that I heard, again, it was, it was a very too pro the small local church building and not the church, which is the church universal, the, the gathering of all true believers, which includes some people in ch local churches, some people not in local churches. And not every person who's a member of a local church is part of the church universal. There's a whole lot of people that show up and play church. Um, and so the statement was that uh, we, have to, we have to join a local church and then use all of our gifts to grow the local church. Eh, wrong. That's not the purpose of our gifts. And to demonstrate this, I want to show you from Ephesians chapter 4, um, verses 11 and 12. Now, first, I guess before we read the scripture, let's talk briefly about spiritual gifts. So, uh, spiritual gifts are kind of like inborn natural talents that we have. We are given by the Holy Spirit upon our salvation. Some of us have the gift of teaching. Some of us have the gift of making money and using that money to grow to grow the kingdom of God, whether it's funding local churches, which is critically important for the kingdom of God, or just funding missionaries, funding Bibles, uh, things like that. Uh, you also have gifts in the area of teaching, gifts in the area of evangelism. So like Billy Graham is the best example of an evangelist. Don't listen to Billy Graham if you want to learn the in-depth inner workings and knowledge of Christ. That's not his gift. His gift is evangelism. His gift is to get you on the steps of Christ. Your task now is to open that up. Find somebody who, with the gift of discipleship and you will find somebody that will help you grow. So there are several different chapters. Uh, Romans, I want to say it's Romans 12 has a section on spiritual gifts. Um, 1 Corinthians, it's either 11 or 12 has a section on spiritual gifts. There's some in 1 Peter and um, Ephesians 4 has a brief snippet about spiritual gifts as well. So the purpose of a spiritual gift is for us to use to grow not the local church, but the church universal. Okay, so I'm not as super active in my local church simply because I do so much with the internet ministries and things like that. Do I attend a local church? Yes. Do I believe in a local church? Yes. Do I support a local church? Yes. But it is not my focus to show up every time they have a Bible study or do something. It takes so much time and am I actually engaged in the outreach of reaching people, making disciples. You know the things Christ told us to do in Matthew 28. You know, go into all the world making disciples and baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. So I wanted to correct this small point of theology that the purpose of our gifts is not to build up the local church, but to build up the church universal. So Ephesians chapter 4 verses 11 and 12. He gave some as apostles and some as prophets and some as evangelists and some as pastors and teachers for the equipping of the saints, for the work of the service, to the building up of the body of Christ. Okay, so it's for the building up of the body of Christ. The body of the Christ is the church universal. The body of Christ is not the local church. It's not the building that hangs a cross on the wall. It's not, that's not what the, the, the body of believers is. The body of believers is the church universal. So our spiritual gifts are handed to us so that we can build up the body of Christ. That oftentimes is in the local church, especially this modern Western programs-based church, which I'm not a fan of anyway, but you know, they'll have the club programs. The kids will come in, you know, one is the, the big national one. You know, you have your kids come in on whatever night it happens to be, and uh, they go through and, you know, people in the church who hopefully have the gift of teaching and hopefully have the gift of being able to deal with young children that are not theirs will get in there and 
will help these kids learn Bible verses and things. That There is great benefit and great ministry to that. But we have to break free of this local church program model because the problem with it, the biggest problem, is that it caters too much to people who will enter a church. Not a lot of people will enter the church. Not everybody will enter the church. And we still have to reach those people as well. And what my argument is, it's not that, again, it's not that the local church is bad. My argument is, though, is that if we are running in there and we are always, always, always going to church Sunday morning, going to church Sunday night, going to church Wednesday night, we got our Bible study, we got our programs, we got all this stuff. On top of this, we have our regular nine to five. We have zero time left to go into the gospel and make disciples, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. This is why I'm not super active in the local church right now, because I'm busy doing these videos, which go out to a wide and a large audience. I got people stopping by the channel all the time. They see something in the news, they wanna see a different perspective. Maybe it just pops up in your timeline. Maybe you're watching this on some other channel. Maybe you're attached right now to the internet on tour and you have headphones on because watching this content could cause you to lose your head in your country. You're not going to be walking into the local church, but you can still glean something from this discussion that our gift is not to go out and support the local church. Our gift is to go out and serve the church universal. Utilizing the gifts that you have and the ways that God allows you to use those gifts for the building up of the church, not the local church, the universal church. And that's the purpose of our spiritual gifts, that we're given all of these gifts to do all these different deeds, to go out and do all of these things. That is what our purpose is. So I wanted to point that out, just say yes. And I just wanna reiterate that the rest of what the person said is completely accurate. But if we're constantly going to all of the church functions, at some point in time, you got to stop going to the Bible study and get out and do something, right? I mean, that's the, that's the thing. And so it is important, and I don't ever want to discourage anybody from not in being involved in the local church, but you have to ask yourself this question. Am I using my gifts to build up the church universal? And by the way, if you're even if you're the most faithful attender, attending everything, if you're not serving in any of those things, if you're just going and consuming the content, you're consuming the service, you're consuming the Bible study, you're not actually out there doing a lot. We gotta get out in there and do something. So what can you do to utilize your gifts? Let's go ahead and, and end this video with this because I don't wanna just say, hey, this is an idea. Let's get some real practical solutions. For me, I do have the gift of working with kids and I do have the gift of teaching. I went out and I did Big Brothers Big Sisters for a decade. Okay, now I've also, that was starting, uh, that was starting almost 15 years ago or so. And for the last five years, I've been mentoring somebody outside of Big Brothers Big Sisters. It's just somebody I just happen to know. And so with all of this, with all this, if you have the ability to work with kids, hey, and if it means missing Wednesday night service so that you can go and serve a kid in the community who would never step his foot inside of the door, go do it. Go join your local programs. Maybe if you are good at cooking and things like that, you can serve in a local soup kitchen, which may or may not be affiliated with a church. Most of them are these days. But there's also many other social programs out there. Like we have a general homeless shelter that's not affiliated with any churches or anything. They need people to go down there and monitor tables and uh, maybe pass things out, maybe just keep the order so people can sleep without being disturbed. There's services like this in nearly every community you can get out there and you can find. Do not be afraid to go into the secular world and go use your gifts. In fact, we are commanded to go into the secular world and use our gifts. So think about what your gifts might be, how you utilize them, and then start thinking about ways you can do that. And hint, they will not always involve the local church. In fact, it's imperative that they don't because that's our task. The church is to build us up to go into the world to use our gifts to build the church universal. Thanks for watching this video or listening to this podcast. Don't forget, you can actually, if you like podcasts, 
Check out the website at ourwalkinchrist.com. We have links there to all the podcasts, Google, iTunes, a general just direct podcast feed if you have something that can take that. Uh, tune in. Uh, don't use the Podomatic one. Uh, I keep it up there just for SEO purposes, but I don't have any more space on that server. And since I'm a web developer with nearly infinite server space, I'm not paying them extra for more service. <laughs> so, especially since it takes me three times as long to put podcasts on their system. Um, so don't use that one, but use the rest of them and you will get these uh, podcasts out there as well. So also don't forget to have a look at the links in the description down below. We can't keep doing this without the support. Uh, best way... Uh, spread the word, buy the books, or if you've already bought the books and read them, review them on Amazon if you can. That is the best way to help small authors. So thanks for walking uh, with us on this daily walk. I hope that you enjoy your daily walk with our Lord.